Hi guys, SP99 here, and today, as promised, I am making a remake video on how to make an origami gift box. Now I know some of you got a bit confused with the other half of the box um, in the other video, so today is basically just how, just showing you how to make that other half as well in a little bit more depth. And also I'm going to be going through the steps a bit slower for you as well. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so to start a box, we're going to need to make B lid. So to make the top of the box, we need to align this edge here with this edge here. And when we fold this over on a diagonal, it will give us a nice square to work from. So we fold this over like this and align these t bottom two edges. Try and get it as neat as possible and try and get this point into a nice sharp point. And when you're happy with that, you make a crease up like this. Okay, mine's not too accurate, but you get the idea. And that's going to give us the top. So that's the size we need for the top. And when I come to cut this, I'm just going to cut this section off, and then we've got our square to use. And that's for the lid. For the bottom of our box, I'm going to use this piece of paper here. We need to make our fold like like we just did here, but we don't want the bottom two edges to align perfectly. We want to leave a little bit of room because if we make both parts of the box the same size, they're never going to fit together. So one needs to be smaller than the other. So doing the same sort of thing, we just fold it over, but this time make sure you do not um, do it right to the very edge. Maybe leave about a pinky finger worth worth of room like that and then try and get it nice and parallel make a crease and fold it like this so now we have um, when we open it we're going to have a s smaller square and a larger square and as you can see they're not the same size okay so I've cut my squares out and as I've already said the yellow piece is going to be the smaller piece and the bottom of the box and the blue is going to be the top and that's the only difference the size of which you cut your square is the only difference everything else is the same now I've already started folding mine a little bit but as you can see here the yellow is smaller than the blue but I promise you from this stage onwards uh, all the steps are completely the same for both parts of the box so anyway once you start your folding you have to uh, you've got your original, your original diagonal fold even and now we need to do the same but on this this fold now on this diagonal so we get a cross shape in the middle of our square so try and get it nice and lined up and as I said this is the bigger piece of paper so this will be at the top just like that doesn't have to be perfect but anyway so that's uh, the main starting point done and now we need to fold each individual corner into this middle point and this will then give us a smaller square so you fold that in like this and again this point into the middle try and get as neat as possible try and get a nice point on each corner but I don't think that's going to happen with me just my luck and fold that in and again final one fold that point into the middle again and you're going to get a smaller square like this so now that we've got a smaller square as you can see we're going to start folding it horizontally now but like this we're going to um, align this edge of the paper here with this line here so the edge will meet up with the middle I'm going to fold it up over like this so it's kind of like half a booklet and then you do the same on the other side like that so you now have a rectangle and then you open it back up and you do the same with the other two bits which you haven't folded 
doing the same thing, folding the outside edge into the middle point. Last one. And fold that in, try and get them nice and aligned. And there we go. And so when we open this up, we've got our original square, but now we've got more folds onto it. Okay, so now we're at this section of the box, we have four flaps. And what we want to do is take two opposite ones and pull it open like this. And then what I like to do is I like to turn our paper over. And as you can see here, I've started to uh, show you where uh, we're going to be folding. So because we're not supposed to really be using scissors for origami, like I used in my last video, I cut on this line. But here I'm going to fold it because I found a way around it. So what we do is we want to fold this point here over to this point here. And this section will be folded inside the box. So I place my index on top and my thumb and middle on the points underneath and we literally just pinch it and push it through like this and then this inside bit will align with the middle point here as you can just see there and then it's the same on the other side pinch that through and align it so these two points are now touching or just about touching anyway and then what you want to do is fold this flap over the folds we just made like this okay and now you can start to see our box coming together so now it's the same on the other side place your index and pinch and final time you place your index and you pinch it through like that and again these are now aligned on a cross I made earlier and for the final time, you just push this flap over the uh, folds we just made. And if you took a little bit more time than I did, you could probably get this nice and even. But very quickly done. And I did the exact same um, up to here with the other side of the box, the smaller section. As I've said, both sections to make this are exactly the same. And simply, to finish off, place the smaller section up inside the larger bit and that is how you make an origami gift box so thanks for watching guys I hope I hope this answered some of your questions for you uh, if you have any more I'd be more than happy to answer them for you so thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you next time